a lot of people would tell me my whole life, no, I can't do something, and I've just kept proving to them, no, I can't. I wanted to become self-employed, work for myself, and I went off and I just did it without any hesitating. With Spine Rift, like your majority of people are in wheelchairs and that causes challenges itself with going into salons or anything because they're tight and trying to get a wheelchair in, you'll be knocking stuff and trying to get your nails done or your waxing done or nothing, like you have to just sit in this tiny room and it's just tight and awkward and you'd feel uncomfortable like you're putting the, the therapist under pressure. When I went in, tables were so high, I couldn't even see over them. So I've had to get my client to sit on a chair behind me and paint her nails in the air, which was awkward. As good as a nail technician as I am, nothing was going to save that. I was very determined, I just wanted it and that was it. And we immediately started to shuffle around our offices so that we could accommodate her. Sarah is a beacon of light, you know. We all know that work dignifies life. Um, and unfortunately, so many people with disability are not able to enter the workplace. And that's such a shame. And Sarah has battled the odds really remarkably to, to change that story around. So we believe in her story that rather than people with disability being a net receiver of benefits, that actually people with dis disabilities should be net contributors to society. And Sarah just is the epitome of that. She says it all. It's important because I've never had anyone that was so supportive like everyone. Some people in my whole life were saying, no, you can't do this, you're in a wheelchair. No, you can't do it in a wheelchair. It just means a lot to me that someone was like, yes, absolutely, we can do this. Whatever challenges are, that's fine. We'll figure it out afterwards. But you want to have the salon, we'll make the salon happen. So you want to do something, just go do it and it'll be worth it. <laughs>